Good morning and welcome to this week's episode of Coffee and Cabinets. I am your host, kitchen and bath designer, Jordan Thomes. This week I am drinking an iced gingerbread chai latte. On this week's episode, we are going to take a look at the differences between a few different design styles. So everything from modern all the way to a rustic kitchen. We're going to take a look at the qualities, finishes, and materials that set them apart from each other. The first style that we're going to start with today is the mid-century modern style. So mid-century modern gained popularities in the 50s, hence mid-century, it's the middle of the century, um, and it is best known for its fine lines, sleek profiles, and the combination of both bold colors and natural hues. So this board here, is a concept board for a mid-century modern kitchen. You can see here that we have combined both a bright green cabinet with a natural maple cabinet. The design utilized this green on the perimeter with the natural maple on the island. These two cabinet colors were paired with simple yet decorative stone and tile options. So we have a Carrera Tuscany quartz here little bit of detail throughout, so it's simple yet sleek, perfectly encompassing the mid-century style. A little bit of decoration was brought in in the backsplash tile. Uh, you can see here that it is a very sleek profile, a lot of clean linear profiles, but there's a little bit of decoration so you get different shapes and different finishes to give it a little bit more visual interest. The chosen wall color for this open concept kitchen was a nice medium beige this particular one's actually called gazelle and you'll see on the board that we did pair it with just a little bit of greenery to bring in the liveliness that encompasses the mid-century style the next style that we're going to talk a little bit about is boho chic as you can i'm sure tell by the name boho chic is all about freeing your inhibitions when it comes to design boho chic is meant to be fun playful and eclectic and is meant to pull from a lot of different styles to make one cohesive plan. Um, we did this kitchen board using a light teal. You can see it's not very saturated color. It's a little bit on the duller side, um, not meant to take away from the rest of the decor. This particular cabinet was paired with this decorative quartz here. There's a lot of different shades of grays, browns, and whites in this stone, which make it really intriguing and really visually appealing. A little bit of decoration and a little bit of that fun boho look was brought in in the backsplash tile. This is a ceramic tile that has a lot of different detail. We have some fun, playful shapes. Um, they look a little bit like an old fashioned stone cobble street maybe. Uh, and they do have a little bit of a yellowish gold tint to them just to brighten the space up a little bit. The wall color chosen for this room was a simple beige. It is open concept, so there was a lot of other factors to factor in, so we did want to make sure that it was consistent and would blend really well with the rest of the space. A little bit of decoration here for this board for the Boho Chic kitchen is these wicker baskets. Um, Boho Chic has a lot of eclectic and natural properties, so you're very likely to see things like wicker baskets and rattan shades, things that play off the natural environment while also bringing character to the space. Next up is a rustic style kitchen. So rustic is something that a lot of people are familiar with and depending on your area you might be a little bit more familiar. Um, rustic style design focuses very heavily on the use of raw materials and is often described as earthy, aged, and natural. So rustic design focuses very heavily on the wood textures in a space. However, you can play with a lot of other natural materials to bring a full rustic design together. This particular board is using a dark stained hickory. This is on a natural hickory door stained with a Kodiak stain with a little bit of distressing on the edges to give it a little bit more character. The countertop chosen for this project was a little on the simpler side for a rustic kitchen, but it is very natural hues. It's all the beige creamy colors, and it was chosen because it was a little simpler, so not to distract from the beautiful cabinetry. 
The movable island placed in this kitchen utilized a butcher block top, which again brings in a little bit more of the natural tone, another material introduced that pairs really well with a rustic design. The chosen backsplash tile for this project was an upcycled brick tile. So this is using a lot of that natural aged descriptors from the rustic style, while also keeping things really consistent. They were looking at a rich red and dark brown palette. So back to that butcher block top movable island, the legs of that are actually painted a rich crimson red, which helps to pull in the character of these natural brick tiles. A little bit of decoration is this handcrafted raw edge trivet. Um, this is just a little bit of a decorative piece. You can get these in a lot of colors and sizes. This particular one just paired really well with this kitchen. The next style that we're going to touch on is a modern style. So this is not to be confused with a contemporary design. Um, modern isn't quite to the level of contemporary. You still get a little bit more profile and there are often more details going into a modern design, whereas contemporary is very simple, minimal decoration, you know, minimal obtrusiveness in the space. So this modern kitchen uh, gives you a really rich, luxurious feel with the solid black painted cabinetry. They are a flat panel, very simple. Again, they are not a slab door, so they're not quite as simple as a contemporary design, but it does play really well with the shadows and the highlights of the black cabinet. It gives it a little bit more depth, a little more dimension. The stone chosen for this kitchen is the Borghini Lustrato Quartz. Not only was this chosen as the countertop, this was actually also implemented as a full height backsplash. So it continues that pattern right up the walls and up to the ceiling behind the stove. To give a little bit of a pop of color and a little more boldness to the design, this kitchen actually utilized a rich emerald green for the wall color. In the kitchen, there's not too much exposed wall that was painted um, just because of that full height backsplash but this was used to give that little bit of pop of color and a little bit of decoration in the spots that previously would have been left empty. We do have a little bit of greenery to give this board a pop of color and a pop of life. You will see in a lot of modern designs the use of lush greenery just to bring that natural feel and the environment into the space. Second to last style that we're going to talk about this episode is the coastal design style. So this something is a little bit more unique. You don't see it quite as often as you do some of these other styles just because it's a little bit more dependent on the region. But a coastal design is, as you would imagine, a lot of blue tones, a lot of light, breezy, flowy components to a space. This particular kitchen was done in two tones. So the wall cabinets used a simple white shaker, flat panel in the center, a little bit of a bevel on the interior, just to give it a little bit of detail. The countertop chosen for this design, as you can see, is a very simple yet detailed quartz. This is actually called Cloud's Rest, so it's very fitting for a nice natural coastal kitchen. It has a lot of light grays and shades of white to it, so it gives you some detail without it being overpowering and keeping a very light and almost a floating design, which is very much the desire in a coastal design. The backsplash tile incorporated a little bit more of a stone look to pair with the countertop, but to also give it another texture. So this particular mosaic tile has a few different patterns to it. So you get some of these darker tiles, and then you do get some that are pure white. So it gives it a little bit of a playful vibe while also keeping things consistent, and of course, very decorative. The wall color for this particular kitchen is another shade of blue. This is a baby blue, so it's meant to keep the entire space bright and it'll pair really well when you're looking out that window over at the beach or the sand or, you know, anything that you have outside of your window. We do have a couple decorative pieces here to pair with the board. This little placemat here is perfect for a coastal kitchen. It gives you a really natural vibe, has some of the colors of almost a driftwood or a sandy palette. So it gives you a little bit of that texture. And then we just have a nice little decorative piece to put on the shelf maybe in the kitchen or to hang on the wall in your family room. Last but certainly not least, we are going to talk a little bit about farmhouse design. 
farmhouse is everywhere right now so i'm sure you've seen it on your pinterest on hgtv all over your news feeds on facebook and instagram so we're just going to touch a little bit on the qualities of a farmhouse farmhouse design utilizes natural wood tones paired with very bright stark whites often accessories are natural features such as more decorative wood pieces feathers plants things that just bring in a natural feel but pair it well with the stark white finishes that are often found in farmhouse kitchens this particular design utilizes a simple flat panel in a pure white this particular door is not a shaker it does have beading on the interior uh, surrounding that flat panel so it does have a little bit more decoration than a standard shaker cabinet but it does give the farmhouse kitchen a little bit more character the countertop chosen for this particular farmhouse kitchen is a classic and timeless quartz this is calcutta oceania this is meant to mimic a natural marble um, and it does give that very classic timeless vibe while also pairing very well with what is typical of a farmhouse kitchen. We did of course go with the foolproof option of a glossy white subway. A glossy white subway will never fail you no matter the style you're going for. It will pair really well with any of your decor, any color palette you might have and it is of course perfect for a farmhouse kitchen. The wall color chosen for this space is actually a very simple light aloe green. Um, this is to give the space a little bit more light and to pair really well with the greenery that's incorporated into the space while also you know, adding a little bit of pop of color to the very, very light white palette that we have so far. As is very fitting with a farmhouse style, we do have some natural light colored linen to pair really well and add some more texture. And we do have a little bit of a decorative centerpiece here, utilizing a small glossy white milk jug and some little bit of natural foliage to give it a little bit of pop of color and to bring the space to life. So this past weekend, I took a trip down to New York City and I attended BDNY and ICFF 2021. BDNY is Boutique Design New York and ICFF is the International Contemporary Furniture Fair. It was a two-day event with hundreds of vendors and thousands of guests. Um, I got a lot of wonderful ideas, I met a lot of awesome people, got a lot of new perspectives on the design world, you know, seeing things from a different point of view. Um, there was a lot of great things to learn. I attended quite a few speaking sessions and got to hear from wonderful experienced designers from around the world. Um, I took a whole bunch of photos to show you guys, so why don't you take a look and see what I saw. Before I let you go, I did just want to remind everybody that we still have our ongoing five-day guaranteed countertop installation. Uh, it is limited to what we have in stock, so please stop down into our showroom to take a look at our available stone and to get started with your countertop project. This does conclude this week's episode of Coffee and Cabinets. I look forward to seeing you next Saturday morning, bright and early. The... I'm sorry. <laughs> The particular stone chosen for this farmhouse design is a very simple uh, veiny quartz. This is called Kakari. Hold on, hold on, hold on.